The folks at Microsoft just showed us a brand new controller, one that isn't out on the market yet. It's called the Xbox Adaptive Controller. Now this is a really interesting design because unlike every other controller that has really come before from any of the major manufacturers, this one can be customized virtually any way you want. We were given a private one hour session with the controller so we could try it out in a bunch of different ways. But before that started, they sat us down and told us to try and play one of two games with one hand. The first game was Forza Horizon 3, which believe it or not, not easy to play with one hand with a typical Xbox One controller. And the other game was Super Lucky's Tale. Again, a game that is really fun to play, but if you're using one hand, it can be really difficult. And that is when they invited me to try out the Xbox adaptive controller. They plugged in a generic USB flight stick and two little pedals that plugged into the back of the controller itself. Once they had done that, I was capable of playing both games easily, even with one hand, but both using my feet. Prior to this, gamers that had limited mobility or possibly a loss of motor control in their hands or feet or anything, they haven't been able to play games the way that other gamers have. And with a device like this, they're capable of plugging in a whole array of assorted devices to make the games they want to play easier and quite likely the very first time they could play these games at all. Now how this controller works and how it was designed was very, very smart. Right off the top, you've got a home button, a select and a start button, and a profile button that allows you to switch profiles on the floor. Fly. You've got two very big enlarged A and B buttons, and these buttons are very well made. Now initially, when I saw these two buttons, I thought that they were going to be a little bit awkward to use, just because of how big they were. But I was completely wrong. Not only are they very responsive, but they're also clicky, and no matter where you push the button in any way, it always registered, even with very little force. To the bottom left of the controller, you'll find a slightly oversized D-pad. Now this D-pad feels kind of similar to what you would find on an original Xbox One controller, only it has a little bit less movement. But just like the Xbox One controller, you can't push the whole thing down like it's a big button, which is very important. This D-pad and these buttons are not just meant to be used with hands, but also your feet, your elbows, your chin, anything that you can use to play a game if you lack motor control in certain parts of your body. And just like the Xbox One Elite controller, you'll be able to rebind the buttons in any way you see fit using the software built in on your Xbox One or PC. To the very left of the controller, you'll find a headset jack so you can go online and play with your friends and talk to them, but you'll also find a USB port for the left joystick. Now, you'll find one of these on the right side as well for the right joystick, but this is something I found incredibly interesting. Unfortunately, I couldn't confirm how many joysticks were out there that could actually work with these inputs, but the one that we were using seemed to work great, and I can only imagine a lot more would work as well. It's just not using any of the things you'd find on the joystick itself. For instance, on this flight stick, there was a bunch of extra buttons, but none of the buttons registered any input, and that's because these USB ports are not for any of those buttons, but simply for the joystick's movement itself. I really hope that when this comes out, they give you the ability to use the buttons that are on the flight stick already, but as it stands right now, I just don't think that's something they're considering because realistically, there's a lot of flight sticks out there, and they all have completely varied and different inputs. I was also led to believe that it wasn't just flight sticks that would work, but a whole range of joysticks that replace the left and right on the natural Xbox One controller. But those USB ports are just a small portion of what this controller is capable of connecting to. In the back, you've got a whole range of 3.5 millimeter inputs that allow you to connect a whole bunch of different devices and essentially make the controller completely your own. Aside from the left and right joysticks, you can replicate and replace every single input on an Xbox One controller, including the D-pad directions, the home button, A and B, the shoulder buttons, the triggers, and just about everything. It really does cover all the bases. Heck, you even have a USB-C port in the back, which is the very first time I've ever seen that on an Xbox controller, and you even have a separate power input as well, just in case you don't want to use the USB bus power that comes straight from your Xbox One or PC. And if you have a whole bunch of buttons and joysticks and things hooked up to the controller, likely you're not going to want to move it around to take a look at the back. So they've included smooth notches so that you can kind of feel from the front where the input is and plug in whatever device you want to. There's also a built-in battery that again is a first for an Xbox controller, and this was actually something that the folks at Microsoft told me was kind of important. You see, typically, if somebody's having trouble using an original Xbox controller, they may also have issues replacing batteries. And this is something that you never really think about until you've talked to the people that Microsoft has that would require a controller like this. And you'll also find on the bottom of the controller are some mounting options for people that want to hook this up to a tripod or any other kind of mounting system that would make it easier for them to use. The controller just comes as is and doesn't include any additional buttons or joysticks as far as I'm aware. 
there. But what you're getting here is a package that's so customizable that many gamers out there that never had an option to play a console in the past suddenly just got one. And another option that's really great for Xbox owners is utilizing the co-pilot mode. This way, like you're seeing right now in the video, you can use the Xbox adaptive controller alongside an Xbox One controller to play the exact same game at the exact same time. Basically, you can use whatever input you're comfortable with on the controller and use the other one for any additional input that may be easier for you to use. This controller was designed with a bunch of gamers in mind that simply don't have the ability to use the Xbox One controller on their Xbox consoles or even those same controllers on their PCs. But at the same time, this got me thinking. There's gonna be a whole bunch of things you can do with a controller like this to make your own large scale customized controllers, making your own unique arcade fight sticks, or even making really interesting layouts to play mech games and a whole bunch of stuff like that. As long as you can dream it up, you can most likely make it. The possibilities are endless. So as you can no doubt tell, I'm pretty impressed by this controller. Usually when it comes to these larger manufacturers, they really don't go out of their way to help gamers with limited mobility, but here you go. This here is a controller that basically anyone can use that can play video games or couldn't play video games in the past. With a controller like this, there are just so many different options. But like I mentioned in the video, the options are not just limited to people that have limited mobility, but also people that really wanna make interesting customizable features. I think with this controller in mind, Mind, using it on Windows or Xbox One, you're gonna be able to do a lot of really crazy implementations of controller setups because the options are right there. And with all that customization in mind, no doubt this is gonna be one of the coolest controllers any company has ever released.